Alexi, you know, you were expecting a real tough fight and it looked like that on paper. You went out and you were outworked in your previous fight against them. It wasn't going to happen tonight. No, it definitely wasn't going to happen tonight. Uh, in the third round there, he outworked me a little bit. He got on top of me, cut off my rhythm a little bit and imposed what he wanted to do. Um, but other than that, I sort of, I was fit enough to be able to keep a high pace and then outwork him to be able to get the rhythm I wanted to work with and create my own flow and then work off that and get a couple knockdowns and get the win. So happy with the result. Yeah, that, that knockdown in the second, that was unexpected. He didn't expect it, did you? Well, I know. <laughs> I can punch a little harder than I used to be able to punch, so it's good. Uh, it was a nice, clean right hand. Uh, he got out well from me, sat down, didn't try and get up too quick because that, that's not what you want to do when you get dropped with something hard. Um, and he worked off well, he came back well. I thought I had it in the bag a little bit and I chased it a bit too much, um, which was my, my fault because I probably could have finished it in the second. Didn't fight to the best of my ability in that particular round and as a result he was able to survive and get last to the, the distance and I won on points. The other thing that you did really well, you, you kept them guessing because you know you, you brought the elbows into play where I thought that he might have been behind and he might do that, yep. but you instigated that. Yeah, I'm a bit more comfortable fighting with elbows I think than Josh is. Obviously he's had a lot of full tie rules fights now, but nonetheless that's kind of my bread and butter, you know. I'm quite happy to sit and throw elbows. We're a little bit hesitant because of the fresh cut on my head. Um, but nonetheless, I felt confident in throwing elbows and exchanging at that close range. Um, probably it wasn't the best thing to do. I probably could have played a bit smarter and been a bit safer, but nonetheless, I, I tried to do what I can. Well, no headbutts tonight. No headbutts. That was good. It was not too many, not too much damage, which is nice. Were you, expect, were you expecting him to get up after the second knockdown, or do you think that you, did you think, think you had it? I did think I, I thought I had it. Um, but he's a tough boy, he's got a big heart, you know, I knew that going into the fight. I know even more so now, you know, he, he's a very good fighter, he's experienced, he's a world champion in his own right. So there's no way he's going to go down and stay down if he doesn't have to. Well, we know that he was number one on the list. Who's number two and who are you gunning for next? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I'd like to get a couple more fights in before the end of the year. I don't know if this is going to end air before the end of the year, this interview. If it does, promoters, contact me. Uh, fans. Contact me on Alexi Pet Sarah Pesos. Uh, this is my Facebook page. Hit me up. Sponsors, anyone? Let me know. You know, I'm, I'm eager to get back in there and show what I can really do. Um, you know, I just love fighting. It's what I do. It's, it's what I'm about. Well, I hope you get a lot of calls because we want to see you again too, mate. Thanks very much. <laughs>